Hello everyone, today is day 26 of my 30 day SQL query challenge and the problem that we have taken for today is a very basic SQL interview problem. Now we have been given this statement, given table contains tokens taken by different customers in a tax office, write an SQL query to return the lowest token number which is unique to a customer, meaning token should be allocated to just a single customer. And we have been given this input table which has information about the different token and the customer who has taken this token. Now I hope you understood the problem statement. You can now download the data set and the problem statement from my blog as well as from my discord server and then try to solve it on your own. Now I'll be solving this problem using the PostgreSQL database. I'm using the PG admin tool. Now as you can see I have already created the table here. Now the first thing is let us come up with a logic on how we can solve it. So first of all let us better understand this data set. So just to better understand it I'm just going to sort the data order by let's say token number okay and now if I just run this now all the tokens are in order. Now you can see that the token one is shared by two customers Mariam and Pascal. Token two is shared by again two customers Arya and Rocky. Token three is present twice but it is shared by the same customer John right and the same thing with the token 8 it is shared by the same customer Lily right now as part of this problem statement what we were asked to do is we need to find the lowest token number right but that token number should be shared only by one customer here the lowest token number is 1 right but it is shared by two customers so we cannot consider that the next lowest is 2 but it is again shared by two customers so again we cannot consider that the next lowest is 3 and it is shared by just one customer, right? The same customer, it's the same name, right? In that case, my output should be three. I hope you understand what we need to do. Now, the first thing is I don't need these duplicate entries. So in order to remove those duplicate entries, I can easily do a distinct here. Now, if I do a distinct, now you can see that for three, I'm just getting one record and for eight also, there's just one record. Now from this, I somehow need to write a query to return this as my output, right? Now, one way of doing this is I could just group the data based on the total number field and when I group the, by this, wherever there are multiple records for a token, I will get the count to be more than one, right? And then I could just filter based on that count to get all the tokens with whichever is basically shared by one single customer. And then within that, I could take the minimum value to get my final output. And that is exactly what I will be doing. So I'll remove this order by I don't need that. But I'm just going to say select uh, the token number and I'll say from and I will move this whole thing into the subquery. I'll give an alias like T and I'll say group by token number and I think and then I'm just going to put a count here. I'll say count of the token number. Okay. And I'll just run this. Now you can see that and let's say I'll just do an order by. So order by token number. Now you can see that one is one token is shared by two customers. The second token is also shared by two customers. Third one is shared just by one customer. Now from here, I'm only interested in those tokens which are shared by just one customer. So I could just filter based on the count, right? And that is what I'll do here. I'll use the having clause. I'll say having of count of this token number is equal to one, right? Now if I run it, I'll get the three records. Now from this, if I only want to fetch the lowest token number, it's pretty simple. I could just use a limit of one because I'm already ordering based on the token number in ascending order, right? And I only need the field token number. If I run it, this is basically my solution. Now, alternative to this, I could also put this whole thing into a subquery and I could do a minimum of token number, even that will work. Okay, but I think this is much better in this case. So this is basically the solution to this problem. It's the most simplest problem I think that I've done in this challenge, but it's a problem that you can expect during interviews. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you tomorrow with a very interesting problem. Bye.